Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Sorry that it's been so long since I posted but I'm back and I wanted to share something a little bit different with you guys today because my um, we had our granddaughter and our daughter-in-law here and we helped throw her fourth birthday. So I wanted to show you guys how I did that from start to finish. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So this is the day before and we're starting by making all the cupcakes for the birthday. We're also going to have an ice cream cake because Zoe, the birthday girl, um, that was what she requested but we wanted to have a second option too. So we're starting off by doing some Funfetti vanilla cupcakes and then we're also going to do some Funfetti chocolate cupcakes. You were only like a friend So everything you see me using, I pretty much ordered from Amazon for this birthday. And I also wanted to let you know that at the beginning of this video, the little bluey image, um, I purchased that off Etsy and it was her little invitation which we texted out and it worked out so nice. The first batch of vanilla cupcakes were finished so I'm going to take those out and then I do another batch of those and now we're going to go ahead and start the um, chocolate cupcakes. So while we're making these cupcakes, I just wanted to share with you guys what we've been up to. Um, it's summer, obviously, <laughs> so we've been really busy. That's why I haven't really posted, but we um, had my sister was home with her kids for almost like three weeks, as well as our daughter-in-law and our granddaughter were here for almost a month. So we really just took the time to um, enjoy with them. We went to Disneyland, we went up to our family cabin, um, I, we went to a water park here in town, just did a bunch of stuff to help keep the kids busy and, you know, enjoy the first month of summer. Once the chocolate batches were both done, I just set them to the side to let them cool for a while. And then we are gonna go ahead and frost them and decorate them. Now that all the cupcakes are cooled down and my daughter-in-law came down from getting ready, so we were gonna get these cupcakes all decorated. Zoom in. <laughs> 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 no. 
Now that the cupcakes were all done, we were going to go ahead and start setting up most of the decorations for the party, just so that we had that all done. First we're setting up the kitchen table and then we're going to go ahead and put the tablecloths on it so that that's all done. We got the tablecloths on and now we're putting together these cute little decorations that we got from Amazon, of course. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to starting to put together the balloon garland, which you want to stay tuned for that because it's pretty funny. I did end up going to Party City here and purchasing this uh, balloon blower just to help make our lives a little bit easier and oh my gosh, it was the best money I've ever spent. I was super grateful to have the big kids helping me um, put all these decorations up because it was quite a bit of work to set it all up But it was also a lot of fun because the family all started to get involved Watching this back, it just makes my heart so full because I just love how all the kids came down and they were all wanting to help and blowing up the balloons and tying them. And at first I started to feel a little anxious because of course I wanted the balloons a certain way. But then I decided, you know what, Tiff, who cares? They're all having fun and everybody's participating and that's all that matters. So we had a ball putting together these balloon garlands, even though they were not as easy as they said online. <laughs> We recruited my husband to help us put together the actual balloon garland because he's pretty good at all this stuff and he's very patient so he sat down on that chair and put together all these balloon garlands like such a good sport. A few little tricks just so if you're ever putting together a balloon garland yourself, um, put all the like large and medium balloons on the actual balloon garland strip and then keep all like your small balloons to the side and once you get them actually hung in place, just go through and tape the little balloons wherever you see like holes or you know where you want it wherever you feel like it needs a little to be a little bit fuller that's how i was able to get mine to the exact shape i wanted because like when you see this one get hung it's a little lopsided at first but then i just went through and filled with balloons and it was fine
We're almost done hanging these balloon garlands, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe down all the counters so that it's all set for the morning when I get up and want to start setting out all the food and everything for the party. This is the last balloon arch going up and then we are calling it a night and we will get back at it in the morning and which will be the day of the party. See you then. Now that it's the next morning, I like to get up early and get ready for the day so that I have that done. And now I'm going to go around and just kind of do the placement of where I want all the bowls and dishes and, you know, everything where I want it. And then um, I'll get any food prepped that I needed prepped, which I didn't video. Um, I didn't think you guys really want to watch all that. <laughs> But if you do like watching food prep, let me know because I, I do do a lot of cooking and I wouldn't mind posting um, food prep videos either for you. So just let me know. Um, but here I'm just kind of moving stuff around because I didn't like the first setup. Um, and then once I get everything prepped, we're going to go ahead and finish with a few little last minute decorations that I wanted to do. I decided I wanted to do some helium balloons for the party too so that I could put together some balloon sprays just to put in a few places where we didn't have um, the balloon garland. So that's what we're doing here. Um, it's me and my husband and then this is our son Jimmy. He's helping us. It's so hard to decide. Once I finish up with these balloon sprays, we're gonna go ahead and walk around and figure out where we wanna place them. The first place I decided I wanted one was probably by the gift table, so I did put one over there. And then I do walk into our entryway and I decided I wanted to put one there where I had the goodie boxes, which I'm sorry, I totally forgot to video for you guys. And they were super cute, which we did get them on Amazon. And I think you'll see them a little up close um, in the end of the, or the middle of the video when we show you like all the afters. Um, but then right here, I'm just going out front and putting some balloons in the front so people know where the party is. <laughs> Here's our puppies coming out to say hi to my husband because he was following me around with the video. And here we are, all done, set up, and ready to go for the party. Now it was time for the party, so I just wanted to add some fun pictures and videos from the day so that you could see how much fun all the kids ended up having. And the birthday girl really enjoyed her bluey themed birthday. It was now the day after the party and here was the aftermath of all the fun we had the day before. Um, we did put the food away the night before but that was pretty much all that happened because the party went pretty late. I don't know about you guys but parties in our family start out as kid birthday parties 
And then the kids all end up falling asleep on the couch watching movies and all the parents are still enjoying the birthday. So needless to say, we had a really good time. So now I got up early, made my coffee, and it's time to get this house cleaned. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along for a little cleaning motivation. When I have a big mess like this, I usually like to pick one room at a time to like completely put back together before I move on to the next room, just so that I don't feel overwhelmed. And I typically start in the kitchen because I feel like once the kitchen's cleaned, after that everything is pretty easy to just, you know, pick up, put everything back, clean up a mess, and uh, go from there. So right here I'm just kind of putting back the dining room table. I'm going to clean it off with my method wood cleaner and then I'm going to go ahead and vacuum real good in this area because the kids were eating over here and then put the chairs and everything back together. I was so happy to be vacuuming because there was so much food on the floor. You know how it is when you have little kids running around with snacks and cake and everything, but oh, it was so good to get all the crumbs up. Since I already had the vacuum out, I figured I would just keep going in this area because there was just so much food on the floor and it was all sticking to my feet. So I figured, let me get this up really quick before I move on to the next thing. Now we're outside and just gonna go through and pick up all the garbage and just put everything back where it goes and then I am going to go ahead and go back inside to finish up in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean off this table because it had lots of little sticky fingers. I'm just using my microfiber cloth and the spray away glass cleaner which I really am liking. And then I'm going back in the kitchen to start getting all the counters wiped down. I like to typically clean top to bottom so I know that I already vacuumed and now I'm doing the counters so after I finish doing the counters and the dishes I do go through this whole house 
and vacuum and mop. I didn't video that, but just wanted to share that little piece with you because I did want to give the floors a really good deep clean after having so many people over. You're far away and yet so close. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. I will leave up all the decorations for the week because that's just like a tradition in our house. For the kid's birthday, when I decorate for them, I just leave it up for that whole week so we could celebrate their birthday all week long. And they just like it, and I like it, and you know, you work hard to put it all up, so you might as well enjoy it a little extra long. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I will be starting um, back up with posting every Tuesday. So make sure to um, hit that like button so that you get those notifications. See you next time.